Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome to another episode of Captain of Industry. And as you can see, I have been very busy. So busy in fact that our population has grown quite a bit. Uh, the reason for that is I actually went onto the map and I went and cleared off all the areas that I could reach with our current uh, fuel tank level. Uh, I did find a settlement over here, but I can't get there because it's too far away. Uh, I did find, where is it? Uh, I found something somewhere, where was it? Uh, I'll find it in just a second here. Uh, oh yeah, uh, a location with an enemy, but it has a groundwater well, so it gets me a uh, supply of water, but we have to upgrade the fuel tank for that. Other than that, I didn't find too much else. There was that sulfur mine I was thinking about doing, but I might want to try to get to that eventually. Uh, there was a, uh, well, there's that coal mine up there too. Uh, other than that, there wasn't too much else to find uh, some resources, a whole bunch of people and all that stuff. And because we found extra people, we are having food supply issues. So I did actually unlock the up, uh, greenhouse, so I'm thinking maybe we'll go ahead and upgrade these. Uh, they, I think, I think they actually do require fertilizer, but they will require more water. Now, I do have some water going in, but how well this uh, groundwater supply is going to hold up, I don't know. Uh, let's actually see if we're... Max out our output. Let's actually speed things up a little bit. Uh, I have done a few other things too. I had to expand the cut here on the mine. This is pretty much tapped out. Just getting the last little bit over here. Let me bring the overlay up. So as you can see, it's just about done. Uh, I was having problems where uh, I was running out of iron here because they were getting mostly rock and gravel out of it and stuff like that. Um, same with the copper too. The copper line basically came to a halt because... Uh, let me get rid of that. There we go. Because uh, they weren't they didn't have anything to mine. They were going so far over here, and they're getting a lot of dirt and stone and all that stuff. So I had to uh, reset up the cut here. So they're actually going down a couple layers. So that's gonna keep this going. Uh, same with here. Like I said, there's that. Uh, what else did I do? Uh, hmm. I did something else. I had to do the same thing with the coal too. I had a couple of issues with conveyors collapsing and stuff. Oh, what did I do? Sometimes you hit those random spots. Uh, other than that, we're doing pretty good. I have been working on uh, the new mega factory I want to set up here. I have this guy over here sort of digging a little path up up here uh, for the time being. I have also made some vehicle parts, which I think I mentioned in the last episode, some tier 2 vehicle parts, and I want to get some bigger equipment going. Uh, as far as the vehicle management going goes, uh, let me... Just pause this right now. We'll go to the research. I have done a few other things too. I just, uh, where is it here? Let me zoom out because I restarted. All the way down here somewhere. Advanced uh, blast furnace. This is actually going to help me produce more uh, iron and copper. Because we're taking 12 crushed ore, which is just ore into a crusher one to one ratio with limestone and coal, a little bit less coal, and get 16 iron. And it produces slag too. Uh, I've been looking at what I need for this whole project, and it is a lot. Every 40 seconds I need like a... Including the steel, it's like a... Like 128 iron every 40 seconds. 80 copper, 90 coal, 96 lime. Uh, 16 fuel, 96 water, 128 wood. 32 sand, 96 crushed slag, and 24 oxygen with the new recipes. Just to keep this thing going. And uh, I want to do this because why not? I haven't built a mega factory yet. Uh, there's a few other things I did. Uh, I got the corn farming unlocked. We can probably switch one of those farms over to corn. And uh, keep the crop rotation going because we can feed this directly to the... To the... Colony, settlement. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I have thought of unlocking uh, this bit, but to get the cooking oil, that's, I think, more naphtha recipes, I believe. Uh, no, that's soybean in in a mill to get oil, and then the animal feed, which can be turned into compost. Uh, where is it here? Uh, we can burn it. We can put it in a coal burner as fuel, or we can turn it into compost, and compost just can be dumped or turned into fertilizer, which... I'd rather not get down, go down that route, but I think for the time being, we'll just go ahead and upgrade these and see how well this goes. Uh, as you can tell by the numbers here, I have a substantial amount of parts. I have been keeping this thing running, and surprisingly, everything's been doing pretty good. Uh, the, the fuel situation's been holding up. Uh, water hasn't been backing up. I haven't had steam issues or anything. It's just been 
right now the food problem. But we're going to go ahead and take care of that right now. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to go in there and check on vehicle management. See if I can get some more vehicles. Uh, I know there was uh, overload edict. I can get in glass make it tier 2. Oh, that's after research lab tier 4. I've been trying to clean up what I can before tier 3. Uh, I can get to the hospitals, but that's fermentation and a whole bunch of other fun stuff down the road. And this just gets me overload. So I'm at my vehicle limit here. So what I'm thinking of, I've been thinking about doing is I might actually take a few of these off here. Yeah, let's take one off of this tower. Okay, we'll scrap you. And then one off of this one, and we'll scrap you. And that's going to get me two extra vehicle slots. Same with uh, a lot of these trucks, because uh, I don't, can we have 110 vehicles? I don't want to have at least six of these big excavators. Oh, that's one too many. Six excavators, and I want to have like... Probably about the same trucks. Which means I'm going to have to scrap another truck or two. Uh, where do I have extra trucks? Over here. Scrap you, and we'll go ahead and scrap you. Okay. Now, for this whole plan I'm doing, I'm going to be using the rubber that's over here. Uh, just because I'm producing a lot of it, and I want to actually start getting the diesel down so I can get more water, more steam, and more sulfur, and everything else. And I love how the, how nice and, it's nice and smooth here, and as soon as I go down here, the lag kicks in, and it just drops the frame rate substantially. Uh, what was I doing here? Oh yeah. Uh, we are making vehicles. Uh, I can't queue up another one right now until these are done. So, yeah, for this down here, this was my original idea. And uh, basically, I have this line here going into... This was actually two or three parts. Um, I think I still have these set up, yes. Tier 3, Tier 2, uh, Electronics, and Tier 1. And that's the same here. Here, this is we're just making Tier 2 parts. Now, this is... The numbers that I gave is to basically keep this entire thing running at optimal capacity so all of these assemblers are actually running. Uh, this is my original idea. I realized that I, uh, I only needed half as half of what that this could produce every 40 seconds. So what I've done is I've redesigned it here. So I have uh, one assembler doing electronics, which are providing two separate assemblers doing the tier twos because they'll be getting everything they need off of here. This is all tier three, uh, tier two electric. Yes. Um, electric assembly tier two. Uh, I've been thinking about tapping into this mine area here. That's why I have this guy up here. And you are running very slow. I have no idea how long it's going to take. Uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll put the new trucks to use. Uh, for the time being, too, I have that all being dumped over into here. We'll just do this for now. I might build another jetty and try to get something else in because I think we can get another cargo port in there if we need to. Uh, as I mentioned before, I can go to the right button. Uh, go up to this settlement here, and I can actually trade 600 tier 3 construction parts for a cargo ship. And that is great. Uh, apparently, too, I didn't haven't really looked for it, but somewhere in here... There we go. Uh, what is that? Six slot cargo port. And I think there was actually an eight cargo port here somewhere, too, down the line. Which, at this point, I don't think we really need it, because there's just so much to do. Anyway, uh, yeah, that is that. So now... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up a couple of these excavators and trucks. I am doing the right ones. Yes, I am. And I'm going to get all this set up. And while in the meantime, I'll get everything else set up that we need to get this line running. So I'll be right back. Oh, it looks like our greenhouses are done. They actually do look like greenhouses. Gotta love the models in this game. And it definitely has a higher fertility, so that is good. Uh, I think we we'll probably get into a crop rotation, but then these can only hold so much, so I'm not too sure what's going on if we're just not producing enough uh, food or what's going on, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway. Okay, after three and a half hours, I am finally done. Uh, yes, it does definitely looks like a mess because I have all the pause symbols on there. Uh, but yeah, we have our uh, tier tier 1 lines, our electronic components lines, our tier 2 lines, our tier four, 3 lines, uh, everything is all being uh, 
uh, supplied with its own resources. I have the iron and copper. Uh, basically, yeah, I got one copper and two iron for each main line here. So that means I have uh, three, four doing copper. No, oh, actually, I got one and one because uh, it was actually going to be like three uh, copper blast furnaces I was going to need for each line or for all four lines. So basically, each one has its own setup. So iron, copper, iron, copper, iron, copper, iron, copper, oh, iron, copper, iron, which goes into oxygen furnace, which makes steel, which goes into a cooled caster, which makes into steel, steel which goes all the way down here, it gets fed into these four machines here, which are making the tier 3 materials. Uh, the rubber I do have coming all the way from main warehouse over here. So this is the main line coming from the rubber. I don't need too much of it. Uh, I have been taking the fuel gas from over here, having it right into a tier 3 pipe, going all the way to the end there. And that's going into... Uh, oh. All over the place here. That's going going into the the gas kilns. Uh, I can't believe I've, I don't believe I set up a, a, a buffer tank for it, but yeah. So these are getting the fuel gas off of there. Uh, limestone. Where was I? Going? Oh yeah. Uh, limestone is down here. I have this all being set up ready to mine. Going into a hop a silo here, which is being fed up into the kilns. Uh, same with the sand. The sand is coming up all the way up through here into the, the cement mixers. Uh, what I didn't realize at first, and I realize that now, is uh, the, the cr iron ore needs limestone, whereas the copper ore needs sand. So I had to sort of split up the sand and the limestone, which is okay, because that just means I didn't need as much as many, uh, didn't need as much of it as I thought I did. And I am realizing I've got to put another ramp here. Uh, these lines here are bringing up the wood from the cargo depot down here. I have a, a mining a dump site set up here and what I've done is I've got a gradient going down to two spaces above water level like I have over there and I'm just going to level have it flattened out and then basically all all these mines this one here this one here this one here this one here or these two and this one up here are all going to be dumping down and over to this spot here and making a big pier uh, I have groundwater in here. Hopefully they'll have enough water and hopefully there's enough groundwater, but I basically have four of these set up. Two of them here and two of them over here, which are in two separate res water reservoirs. So we should be good on that. Uh, water usage shouldn't be too much. It's just mainly for the, the cement mixers and I well, do have to make the acid and the cooled caster over here for the, the steel. Other than that, I think I have everything ready to go. I think all we can really do is cross our fingers and hope for the best. So I'm going to unpause everything. Uh, I did have a few issues. Uh, I was trying to figure out why the, the copper started being produced. And I realized, well, wait a minute, there's no more coal. Well, why is there no more coal? And I realized, oh, the building collapsed. It was actually right here. And the ground gave away and, you know, the building collapsed. That is a thing. But uh, other than that, I think we are ready to go. Uh, again, I'm pulling sulfur over there, and that's to make the acid. So, let me unpause everything, and then we'll see how well it holds up on the build. Alright, two things before I uh, start this. I did upgrade uh, this pipe here, carrying the fuel gas, because I don't know if it's going to be enough to carry it all. And I am coming out off, coming tier 3 off that tank, so that is that. And another thing I did too, is I made sure that every single machine I disabled and import and export on the trucks. So in that way the trucks don't waste their time trying to fill these stupid machines up when they should be building everything. So hopefully everything works out. You gotta focus on yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah. You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah. Push and pull and repel any hate, go create what you want, feel compelled, yeah. And once you finally get a taste of the race, you'll never look back once you felt that. Don't let somebody take your time and your worth, just focus on yourself first. Don't let somebody take your time and your worth, just focus on yourself first.
think about others way before myself, yeah. I guess that's why I feel like I go through hell, damn. Wasting time on your dreams instead of mine, yeah. About to turn this franchise around on a dime, man. It's all about finding your right state of mind. It's all about turning the worst into fine. It's all about time and the work and the climb. From the thirst we will rise, I'm immersed in this life. Don't let somebody take your time and your worth. Just focus on yourself first. Don't let somebody take your time and your worth. Just focus on yourself first. Don't let somebody take your time and your worth. Just focus on yourself first. Don't let somebody take your time and your worth. Just focus on yourself first. There it is. It is finally done. It actually took a lot longer than I expected. The uh, time lapse is about 50 minutes. And there's still about half an hour of work left to do. Um, I was having worker issues because the machines were all turning on. And of course, workers were going in them when they were filled up. So uh, there was nobody driving the trucks. Everybody wanted, wanted to work in these jobs here. So I had to go and pause everything. And then I realized that I needed a lot more material than what I thought. 
As you can see, there is a lot of things here. These tier two blast furnaces were 135 tier two construction parts each. Tier three construction parts. And then uh, the cement mixers and the assembly units and all that stuff. And needless to say, it was a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of resources. And I, when I was estimating how much I needed for this, I wasn't accounting for all these extra <laughs> conveyor lines I was putting in, not to mention upgrading pipes and all that stuff. And so what I have done is I have actually changed over a whole bunch of the, all, some of the smaller excavators into big excavators, changed a whole bunch of tr small trucks into big trucks. And I do have all the mines set up. I have one excavator and three trucks on the sand here, go, dumping the sand into here, and then everything else over uh, to this area for now. Uh, I don't know how big I'm going to get it, but for, for now this is where I'm going to dump everything until I decide where I'm going to build another jetty. And then uh, same thing over here, I got uh, two, min two mining towers set up. Uh, this one here. Okay. Oh, I was hitting the excavator, that's why. Uh, but anyway, so this, this one tower here has one small excavator, three trucks, and it's, pro it's supplying this conveyor, this uh, storage here which is only supplying the steel line. So steel has its own mining tower. Uh, the other one here has two large excavators, six large trucks. And it's dumping into here, which is going to be supplying uh, the rest of the furnaces. Uh, same setup over here with the coal. The coal is actually supplying the, this long line, highway of conveyors going down the back end here, which is feeding into the, all the blast furnaces. So again, we've got two excavators, six large trucks, and then the same thing up here at the copper end. Uh, I'm hoping that's going to be able to keep up because I expect this needing a lot of ore, a lot of resources. I'm hoping the conveyors can hold everything and keep up. And of course, I had to go and disable deliveries on these hot ones here because I had trucks going over here filling this stuff up when they could have been doing other things. But, anyways, uh, we are ready to go to see if it's actually up and running. First, let's go and turn everything on and see if we don't have, have enough workers. Uh, speaking of which, I did have to go all the way back here I had to put in another settlement and I had to uh, turn this back on for a little bit to fill that up and so I have 300 available workers uh, I've got the research labs turned off I'm gonna actually turn this off for now because we're not gonna be building any more vehicles we can build one more but we don't need it right now uh, we'll probably get into tier 3 next but uh, to get a tier or like tier three housing, but to tier three housing, I'm gonna have to start up get, supplying them with uh, better food needs. Uh, if we go up to here, it's one of these here somewhere. Uh, I can find out over here. Uh, food. So I I can make corn. I have. Have it unlocked. I could probably actually start uh, adding it to the, the cycle here. Uh, do it that way, or we can. Uh, what else can we give them here? Ah, uh, there's other food. Make sure I'm still recording too. Uh, we can get into protein, but that's chicken farm, and chicken farm needs processing plants and all that stuff. We can get into snacks. We, we'll need the corn. We need to make corn oil, which we need soybean for, which I have found soybeans, so I do have it unlocked. We can get into that, but matter of having a place to build all that stuff and it's probably gonna have to be fertile land for growing things but uh, you know, we can get into bread too but uh, little things like that add extra unity so that means we can keep maintaining uh, I do have to check a note here quickly okay uh, yeah what I, what I think I did remember is I uh, in order to keep everything running at a proper rate because I'm only doing the, the four uh, Four blast furnaces for the coal and the copper instead of, the, instead of like one for each. Uh, anyway, uh, needless to say, I actually have to boost these with Unity to keep them up to uh, par. Uh, they're actually getting a little more than what they can take in, but if I boost them, then they should be able to output enough to keep all these going. But anyways, let me unpause everything and see if we have enough workers. A good thing to know, the pause tool isn't just for construction. It actually pauses the buildings itself. Uh, actually comes in really handy so I can quickly do this and uh, these are all paused Ooh, what did I pause hope I didn't pause that conveyor no I didn't okay this makes it a little easier than trying to bring up the window and 
Uh, the only thing that's not unpaused is the mining towers, but the mining towers don't actually have workers, just the trucks that are running them. So, let's see what happens. 156 workers. Okay, let me show up the numbers and I'll be right back. Okay, uh, I think we have it. I basically had to shut down half the steel line here. I had to shut down the construction part line here because we're not actually using it anymore since we have the big one over there. I did have to keep the vehicle made parts and all that stuff running just the safe side but we are good to go so let's uh start everything up we should have enough workers for all this i do have everything down here turned on and first time using the big trucks awesome All right, well, I'm gonna let these guys do their thing for a little bit and I'll bring you back once uh, we're all up and running here. Okay, with uh, a couple of disconnected conveyors, a couple of conveyors going in the wrong direction, uh, a couple of conveyors hooked up in the wrong spots, we finally got everything up and running. As you can see, I've been managed to keep, managed, I've managed to keep these four here actually continually running. You can tell by the, the fan on the top there, you can actually tell it's still running. These ones are not. What is going on here? Seems to be a concrete production. What's going on over here? Oh. And there we go. This conveyor is not running. That is supposed to be slag coming back from the blast furnace. Uh, what is your problem? Are you going to... Hold Oh, you're going the right way. Uh, you're not getting any slag at all. Why not? Oh, just backing up. Uh, fair enough. Well, I might have to get some more slag into the system on this side here. But that's okay, that's tier twos. As long as the tier ones keep going, that's our right, tier threes keep going. Yeah, we'll have to get some more slag in here by the looks of it. I'm just not getting enough out of here. But that's fine because I'm sure I got a whole bunch of slag somewhere else. But with that, I think we'll call the episode here. It's been uh, a while in the making on this one, but there we have it. A huge, massive factory, 10,000 parts that really gave the AI a run for its money. Uh, I was actually watching the trucks, and the problem with the trucks is these these big ones here, they actually carry, I believe, I think these carry 60, but, uh, you know, things like the conveyors, they're actually two different parts, and the trucks can only carry one item at a time, and, you know, it's saying the big truck to bring, like, four tier two construction parts over to this one, it's kind of a wasted load, so, you know, there was tens of thousands of deliveries that had to be made to each and every single conveyor machine and pipe and everything I could. there's a lot of stuff here it was actually more than i thought but anyways i thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave me a like and as always i'll see you in the next one later